Here I am, O oh Lord, I come to do your will. Tazama ni mekuja, wana ni mekuja, tazama ni mekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako. On Friday, the fifth day of April, a special day dawns for the pious society of the Daughters of St. Paul. The sisters extend a cordial invitation to all Catholic faithfuls to the celebration of the perpetual profession of three of their sisters. My name is Sister Eunice Kasioka Mudui and daughter of St. Paul. I come from Mudale Parish, Kitui Diocese. I am Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi Barasa from the Daughters of St. Paul. I am from Mundika Parish, Bungoma Diocese. My name is Sister Catherine Wanza. I belong to the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. And I come from St. Teresa's Parish in Isli, Nairobi Archdiocese. What attracted the three sisters to the Daughters of St. Paul, popularly known as the Media Nuns, is a story of faith, service, and dedication. As Daughters of St. Paul, we evangelize through the means of social communication. And that is what attracted me most to join the Daughters of St. Paul. I knew the Daughters of St. Paul through one sister from my parish. And when I read that leaflet, I was attracted to the apostolate because I wanted to serve God. And uh, since I also love the means of social communication, I felt this is the good place to be. I have learned the way of prayer of the Daughters of St. Paul, community life, and apostolate. The Daughters of St. Paul have given me the environment I needed to discern my vocation. And with this act of final profession, I want to commit myself with all my life to work in the evangelization of the peoples within the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. The celebration will commence at 9.30 a.m. at the Daughters of St. Paul Convent, nestled along Ring Road Westlands in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. I would like to invite all of you to my final profession. I have been with the Daughters of St. Paul for 12 years, and now I am going to make my final vows on the 5th of April. I would like to thank all those who have supported me in this journey of 12 years, in knowing and loving Jesus, who is the Master, Way, Truth, and Life. I would like to thank all my formators, my family, and people of goodwill who have supported me in this journey. May God bless all of you abundantly. I joined the Daughters of St. Paul in the year 2012. I am very grateful to God for journeying with me all this way. I am also grateful to my parents and all the people of goodwill who have been part of this journey. I want to thank the Lord for the journey that I have made, for all the graces I have received, and for all the people who have helped me in my journey of discernment. It has been a very enriching and fruitful journey. I am making my final profession, trusting in the Lord who has called me, because he is faithful. I want to invite all of you to come and celebrate with us in this our great joy. The Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Maluki Mungela of Kitui Diocese is expected to grace the ceremony as the main celebrant of the Eucharistic celebration and the guest of honor. His Lordship Bishop Joseph Mongela from Kitui Diocese and I also expect my family and uh, the people from Busia County. Yes, and all Bungoma Diocese. I also expect many friends whom I have invited 
in honor of the spirit of evangelization through broadcasting shared between Capuchin TV and the Daughters of St. Paul's Pauline's Publications Africa, we, the Capuchin TV family, will bring you live streams of the event on television, YouTube and Facebook concurrently. The trio, Sister Catherine Wanza, Sister Eunice Kasioka, and Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi will each hold a Thanksgiving Mass on different dates in the month of April. Later, they will host family and friends. msifu Yesu Kristu mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Captain TV tuko katika maeneo uh, ma, makao makuu ya dada wa St Paul's hapa Westlands na tuko katika sherehe za siku ya leo ambapo masista ama watawa watatu wanaenda kuweka nadhiri zao za daima uh, mmoja wao akiwa sister Catherine Wanza Mutua kutoka parokia ya St Teresa Isli uh, Jimbo kuu la Nairobi vile vile tunaye sister Yunis Kasioka Muthui kutoka parokia ya Muthale uh, Jimbo la Kitui na vile vile tunaye sister Gentrix na Sirubi Barasa kutoka parokia ya Mundika uh, Jimbo la Bungoma kwa hiyo siku ya leo wataweza kuchukua nadhiri zao za daima ambapo uh, tunajua kwamba wanapochukua nadhiri zao za daima wanajitolea daima kumtumikia mu ngu katika maisha ya kitawa ambapo wanachukua nadhiri uh, ama nadhiri tatu ambazo ni uh, nadhiri ya ufukara uh, nadhiri ya ubikira nadhiri ya ku, uh, uh, pia ku ya obedience samahani. Kwa hiyo tunakuomba uendelee kuwa nasi katika sherehe hii ya leo ambapo tutakuwa na sherehe kemkem ya kuwasherehekea dada zetu ambao wataweza kuchukua nadhiri zao. Tukimuomba Mungu kwamba kile ambacho wanachokiomba siku ya leo waweze kuishi daima dawamu katika maisha hayo ambayo wameitamani kwa muda mrefu wamekuwa kwenye safari kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi na leo tumefanikiwa kuwa na mzazi ambaye ni mmoja uh, wa watawa hawa na atatuambia furaha yake kutokana na jambo hili ambalo tunakusudia kuliona baada ya dakika si nyingi karibu mama asante tumsifu Yesu Kristu tumsifu tena Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema kwa majina naitwa Belista Ambula Mutua kutoka St. Teresa's Catholic Church Isili na niko na furaha siku ya leo kwa kwa kuja kwa ishere ya hawa watatu wata mmoja akiwa ni msichana wangu Catherine Wanza Mutua ni mtoto wangu wa pili nimempea nime na kwa Mungu vile Mungu yeye alinipea hata mimi nimemtutishia Mungu na nasema ni asandi kwa wale watoto wa wazazi wanazemanga hawataki wa, watoto wao waende huko wanataka wanjukuu wito ni kitu Mungu ali, ali, aliumba mtu nayo kama umeita kuwa mtawa uwezi uwezi kujificha mbele ya macho ya Mungu mali huko Mungu ata atakuchukua ata atakuchukua huko uweze kumtumikia kwa hivyo mimi niko na furaha kwa sababu Mungu alimteua hata akiwa katika mbo yangu siku kwa na hivyo nimechukua nini lakini Mungu alikuwa anajua na yeye akaweza kujitolea kumtumikia Mungu na mimi nikaweza kumtoa kwa roho safi kwa hivyo sina kizuizi wa, wa um, wenzangu wazazi wenzangu kama unasikia mtoto anakuambia kuna wito wa aina aina hii umwachilia wese kupata wito wake kwa sababu hata akienda kwa wito lingine sio yake hata hata faitika na hakuna manufaa yoyote lakini ukimwachilia kwa Mungu kama wewe mzazi utaona baraka nyingi sana Mungu ataendelea na kukubariki. Hakuna jambo jambo lililo mzuri kushinda kutolea Mungu sandaka. Sandaka kutoa mtoto aende kutumikia Mungu ni kama kumtolea sandaka. Kwa hivyo hakuna ile jambo ngumu. Wajiwaje wa, wa, wa watoto wetu waweze kujitolea waweze kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Na sisi wetu tuseme kumtolea kumtolea shukrani kila wakati. Eh kwa hivyo na waomba hivyo wazazi muzikue na mioyo ngumu mulekeze mioyo na wamwachilie watoto waweze kwenda kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu asendeni Asante mama labda sister Catherine amekuwa kwa muda gani aliondoka nyumbani mwaka upi uh, aliondoka nyumbani 2012 kufikia siku ya leo amefikisha miaka 12 
Kwa hivyo mimi na njana nilikuwa nawaambia nimezoea, nimezoea. Tangu aende nimezoea. E, nime, nimezoea. Na mimi sina ngo ngumu. Sina ro ngumu kwa sababu nimezoea na ameenda kumtumikia Mungu. Miaka kumi na miwili tangu amalize secondary ndio alienda. Ah, hiyo ni safi. Kwa katika miaka hiyo kumi na miwili safari imekuwaje wewe kama mzazi umemsaidiaje mtoto wako ili aweze kuwa katika kukubali kwamba wewe ukubali kwanza na vile vile kumuomba unajua si safari rahisi yes. umekuwaje umemsaidia vipi ili akaweza kuvumilia kwa miaka hii yote hadi leo anaweka nadhiri za daima kwa miaka hiyo yote kila siku nikiamka nilikuwa na muombea nasema kama Mungu amemuita ile kazi Mungu ameanzisha lazima imalishe kila siku nilikuwa na muombea hata mwana muombea maraika na najua huku 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 upande pande kuna kuanga na, ma, na, ma, na maandui na ombanga mikaili malaika Mungu aweze kuondoa maandui waweze kwenda bali mbele bali na, na, na yeye <laughs> Na vile vile sasa leo wanachukua nadhiri za daima kwa hiyo ni watoto watatu na wewe unawakilisha wazazi ambao wanahusika siku ya leo. Je, ungewaambia nini hao watoto wenu watatu ambao wanachukua nadhiri zao za daima? Sasa safari imeanza tena upya. Wamekuwa kwenye safari miaka miwili Sasa safari inaanza upya. Utawaambiaje wanapoanza safari upya ya yani kuwekwa wakfu na kuishi maisha yao daima kama watawa wa uh, daughters of Saint Paul ni ni ningewaambia hata wakati wa harusi mnaona mnasherekea harusi mkiwa na furaha lakini kuna vikanga mahali mnaanza kusema huyu ndiyo nilichakuwa siku kwa najua kama anakaa na mna hiyo na waomba waweze kuvumilia kwa sababu hii ni kama ni kama familia ni kama kuolewa na harusi kuna kuanga na misukosuko hata kwa familia zetu waweze kuvumilia kwa sababu wameitika hiyo wito hata sisi wale tumeolewa tumeshavumilia kuna kuwa na malumbano lakini tunakunja tuna nini tunaondoa ile malumbano tuna tuna kila mtu anakanyanga ile line yake sawa labda uambie jina wa watazamaji wa Captain TV jina lako eh eh kwa kwa manjina mimi naitwa Felista Ambula Mutoa kutoka Isili na maliba ma maliba kwetu shaku kwetu kwa shaku ni karakala karakala kanisa yetu inaitwa St Joseph ya Karakala Catholic Parish eh ni huko Machakos asante sana mama thank you asante kujitolea kumtoa mwanao kama zawadi kwa kanisa huyo amekuwa mama Felistas ambaye ni mamake sister Catherine Wanza ambaye ni mmoja wa wale wanajitolea wakfu ama wanachukua nadhiri zao za daima siku ya leo kuna wale masista wengine ambao ni sister Yunis na sister uh, Genetrix kwa hiyo tunafurahia kwamba wameweza ku, ku, kujitolea kwa Mungu kwa sababu si kazi rahisi lakini wanasema kwamba mavuno ni mengi wavunaji ni wachache na siku ya leo tumebarikiwa kwamba tutapata ongezeko uh, la wafanyakazi na hasa hasa uh, wa Daughters of St Paul ambao wanajulikana sana katika kueneza injili kupitia uh, the social media platforms wana vitabu wanainjilisha kupitia njia ya mitandao kwa hiyo tuendelee kutazama siku ya leo na uwe karibu kuwa nasi kwa sababu tumewaandalia mengi zaidi ambapo tutaona kwamba je katika kuchukua nadhiri za daima ni kipi kinachotokea wale wanaojitolea ni maneno yapi wanayotumia katika kukubali kwamba wamejitolea wakfu wamejitolea kwa daima kumtumikia Mungu kwa maisha yao yote na ibada ama misa ya leo itaongozwa naye askofu Joseph Maluki Mongela wa kutoka uh, uh, Jimbo la Bungom uh, la Kitui Samahani kwa hiyo uwe pamoja nasi usiondoke kwa sababu tuko hapa kukuletea matukio yatakavyotokea yata tangia mwanzo hadi mwisho kwa hiyo kuwa nasi mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Captain usiende mahali popote Hadi tamati tumsifu Yesu Kristu
Leo hii tumekusanyika hapa kusherekea upendo wa Bwana kwetu na hasa kwa dada zetu Sister Catherine Wanza Mtua, Sister Eunice Kasioka Mudui na Sister Gentrix na Sirumbi Barasa. Kwa kweli ni neema ya Mwenyezi Mungu inayotupa nguvu ya kuitikia na kufuata wito wa Kikristo. Na kwa leo hii tunamshukuru Mungu kwa kuwaita hawa watawa wetu wamtumikie kwa njia ya kipekee. Tumuombe Roho Mtakatifu awangaze na wazidishie nguvu hawa watawa wetu ambao leo hii watafunga nadhiri za daima. Katika kufunga nadhiri za daima wanajitolea kwa njia kamili na ya kibinafsi kutangaza injili ya Bwana kupitia vyombo vya habari. Tunawashukuru hasa wazazi wao pamoja na jamii yao na marafiki ambao wamechangia kukuza imani yao katika Bwana na kuwasaidia kuitikia wito wa Bwana. Tunawashukuru pia mabinti wa Mtakatifu Paulo ambao wamewafunza na kuwaonyesha njia ya utawa kama mabinti wa Mtakatifu Paulo. Tunaweka kuitikia kwa wito wa watawa wetu mikononi mwa Yesu aliyenjia ukweli na uzima. Mikononi mwa Maria mama wetu malikia wa mitume na mikononi mwa mtakatifu Paulo aliye baba na mlinzi wetu. Leo hii pia tunawakumbuka katika sala zetu wenzao kutoka Argentina, Brazil, Korea, India, Philippines, DRC Congo, Cameroon, Nigeria na Uganda ambao pia watafunga nadhiri katika siku hizi. Misa yetu itaongozwa na Baba Askofu Joseph M. Mwongela wa kutoka Jimbo la Kitui. Sasa tunamkaribisha Baba Askofu atuongoze katika ibada ya misa. Tukianza na wasalimu nyote amjambo. Amjambo tena. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Mwelembe. Aya karibuni sana aza kutoka kule Mundika. Mimi ni wa huko pia. Lizomi huko Mabanga. Watu wa Kitui, watu wa Machakos na kule kwingine. Karibuni sana ndio tuweze kuanza ibada yetu ya leo mapadre, masista. E, tuunganike pamoja ili kwa hao watatu. Gentrix, uh, tuko naye Catherine na msichana wetu kutoka kule Yiani. Anataka Yiani au wote te tunganike pamoja Eunice watu wa nyumbani karibuni sana tuombe ili wanapoweka nadhiri yao ya mwisho wanjitolee kwa Mungu ili ile kazi walianza waifanye hadi mwisho akamtumikia Mungu tunjiandae sasa ile tuweze kuomba kila mmoja atoe kiini chake cha maombi 
tukakuwa tunachanganya lugha tukiendelea in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all amen my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
Let us pray. O oh God, who will that the grace of baptism should flourish in these your servants, so that they might strive to follow more closely in the footsteps of your Son, grant we pray that constantly seeking evangelical perfection, they may add to the holiness of your church and increase our apostolic zeal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
somo la kwanza somo katika kitabu cha kwanza cha wafalme sasa bwana asema hivi muumba wako e yakobo mzao wako e israeli usiogope maana nimekukomboa nimekuita kwa jina lako wewe huu mtu wangu ukivuka maji nitakuwa nawe ukivuka mito hutazama ukipita katikati ya moto hutaungua waladimi za moto azita kuteketeza kwa kuwa dimi bwana mungu wako mtakatifu wa israeli mwokozi wako nimekupa misri kuwa ukombozi wako nimekupa kushi na seba kwa ajili yako kwa kuwa wafaa sana machoni pangu kwa kuwa unathamani na kwa kuwa nakupenda basi natoa watu mahali pako na mataifa kwa kukomboa uzima wako usiogope maana nipo nawe toka mashariki nitawarudisha wazao wako na toka magharibi nitawakukusanya neno la bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana kitikio tutasema jambo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu jambo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu jambo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu Jambo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana Nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu Jambo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana Nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana Tembo moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana Nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu
Nitautafta uso wako e buwana Usinifiche uso wako Usimkataye kwa sira mtumishi wako Wendi wensada wangu sinitupe Ebuana unifundi shenji ya yako Uniongoze katika njia ili onyoka Na amini kuwa itawona wema wabwana Katika nchi ya wali Taka kwa buwana Nikae nyumba ni mwabuwana Siku zote za maisha yangu Somo la pili. Somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa warumi. Ndugu zangu, na wasistiza kwa ajili ya huruma ya mungu, toeni miili yenu kuwa sadaka ilio hai, takatifu na yenye kumpendeza mungu. Hiyo ndiyo ibada iwafayo. Msijilinganishe na nyakati hizi bali mwongoke na kurekebisha mawazo yenu muweze kupambanua atakayo Mungu kilicho chema chenye kupendeza na kikamilifu Kwa nguvu ya neema niliyojaliwa ninawaambieni kila mmoja wenu msijikadirie kupita kiasi kiwa pasacho kujikadiria bali jikadirieni kwa kiasi na kwa kadiri ya imani Mungu aliyomgawia kila mmoja wenu kwa maana kama tulivyo navyo viungo vingi katika mwili mmoja lakini viungo vyote havina kazi moja ndivyo sisi tulio wengi ni mwili mmoja katika Kristo na kila mmoja ni kiungo kwa wenzake basi tunavyo vipaji mbalimbali mbali, kadiri ya neema tuliopewa mtu akiwa na kipaji cha unabii usemi wake ulingane na imani mtu akiwa na kipaji cha utumishi basi atumikie na mwenye kipaji cha ualimu aelimishe mwenye kipaji cha faraja afarije mwenye kutoa kitu atoe kwa unyofu aliye msimamizi afanye bidii mwenye kufanya matendo ya huruma afanye kwa uchangamfu upendo usiwe na unafiki chukieni yaliyo maovu shikilieni yaliyo mema 
Mpendane kwa upendo wa kindogo. Mshindane katika kuheshimiana. Msilegee katika bidii, mwashwe roho, mtumikieni Bwana. Furahini katika matumaini, muwe na subira katika matatizo, salini daima. Wasaidieni wateule wakiwa na shida, mpende kuwakaribisha wageni. Neno la Bwana Shangilio At that time, Jesus answered Andrew and Philip, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the heart and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there shall be my servant also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The gospel of the Lord. We now begin the rite of perpetual profession. We are all invited to participate in this particular profound moment with our sisters. The signs of this rite seek to express. The sisters' commitment to the Father's plan lived forever with joyful fidelity. They will be consecrated today totally to God in Christ, to serve his people in the fullness of charity and truth. The power of the Holy Spirit who consecrates and sends them to proclaim his love by their witness through the means of social communication. The participation of the whole church in this event. 
their definitive acceptance in the congregation of the daughters of St. Paul. The choir, please, invocation to the Holy Spirit. to Katie. Wakati huo 
Sista mlezi wa hawa watawa wetu atawaita kwa jina nao wataitikia mimi hapa bwana baadaye wazazi wao watawasindikiza altareni huku wakimtolea bwana mabinti zao kama sadaka watawa wetu watapokelewa na kukaribishwa na baba askofu kama ishara ya kupokelewa kwao kanisani Sister Catherine Wansa Mtua. Sister Catherine Wansa Mutua. Be a coffee. Sister Catherine Wanza was born to the family of Mr. Matthew Mutua, deceased and Mrs. Feliz Tambula Mtua. She is the second born in a family of five. Sister Catherine comes from St. Teresa's Catholic Church, Isli, in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. This is her 12th year since she joined the congregation. Sister Eunice Kasioka Muthui. Here I am, Lord. Big up, Makofi. Sister Eunice Kasioka was born to the family of Mr. Boniface Muthui and Mrs. Josephine Nziku. She is the third born in a family of four. Sister Eunice Kasioka comes from Muthale Parish in Kitui Diocese. She is, this is her 12th year since she joined the congregation. Sister Chentrix Nasirumbi Parasa. Here I am, Lord. <laughs> Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi was born to the family of Mr. Dennis Barasa and Mrs. Mary Nabuire deceased. She is the second born in a family of four. Sister Gentrix comes from Mundika Parish in Bungoma Diocese. This is her 12th year since she joined the congregation.
Dear sisters, what do you ask of God and his holy church? We ask to follow Christ the Master, way, truth, and life more closely in the congregation of the daughters of St. Paul, to spend our lives in proclaiming the gospel with the means of social communication, and to persevere in our resolve until death. Makovi kwa rembo wa Yesu. Zili lezi okamba. Nazamundi kazi kwa wapi. Hey, izukuti bado tuta dance. Tunafraia tuko wapa tuko nyumbani kila moja wetu. Kwanza kile kimini fraisha. Hapa karibu ndoa itengani, itenganishwe. E, mama ya Yunis alikuwa ameamua kuwa sister. <laughs> Mzee aende nyumbani kivi yake afuate msiana. Makofi kwake. Aya. Siku ya furaha ni wakati wa Easter. Na Easter ni wakati wa kufurahia. Kwa Kristo amefufuka. Tumebeba misalaba. Tumetundikwa msalabani, tumekufa. Lakini kwa sauti tumefufuka. Eh, tumefufuka. Na kama uko hapa na unakaa kama bado umekufa, tutakufufua. Fufuka, furahia. Unaweza kosa hii nafasi mahali pengine. Unatoka nje watu wanakuangalia vibaya. Hapa tunaangaliana vizuri, tunafurahishana. Angalia mwenzako, na usimwambie chochote, mfurahishe tu kwa kumwangalia. Without saying anything, just make the other one happy. Eh? Mwambi osi ogope. Eh? Kama we ni mzazi, kuwa mzazi mwe ma. Sasa nini? Mugiambiana nyota, nani anazikiliza? Eh? Ukiona ni mefungua mdomo kwanza, we nyamaza. Eh? So who is the first now? Mwambi ya wewe. Happy Easter. Kuwa mzazi mwe ma. Aya, wewe hile anaongea nyamaze sasa, mwenzake na fasi. Diyo tutembea pamoja. Na wewe mulize na wewe nje. Bono nasumbua mze. Sasa na mzumbua na unamunacheka. He? Amejibu. Ama nasema ndiye mwenye manga. Mgeni mulize hivyo kikamuza. Bono nasumbua bibi. Haka niambia wewe. Nikiwa father, father. Hacha ni kuambie. Niki kukopesha huyu wangu. Udanirudishia kabla ya njioni. Huyu bibi yangu ni mkali. Ni mimi tutu na elewana. Ya muambia beba mzigo wako. Siwali agree. Na waka gumbaliana. Mimi yangu hiko sawa. Ni ngumu lagina ibeba. Na zioni ikiwa zito. Asabu ni kazi ya nani? Ni kazi yangu. Ninyo mkiulizo waskofu kwa na mna gani? Semeni muzito. Lagini kwangu waskofu ni rais. Ni kuambia watu wacheke, wanacheka. Wafurai, wanafurai. Wapendane, wanapendana. Mazisa johoni, wana, wana kuja. Mazisa fanyeni, wana uimbeni, tunaimba. How wonderful. Tupige magoti, tunapiga. Tuzimame, tunasimama. Isipokuwa labda moja wa wili, labda ameumia kwa na sababu zake. Mungina ataka kuchapa mjamaa na mwambe, wee simama, wee simama. Kakadea kwa kaka mchapa. Hasa kaka mchapa, naanza kulia na vanyeni. Hai, nini sababu? Asiki, na unampigia makelele hapo. Sasa unaka maa kuna makosa, kumbi asiki. Sasa mbalo utafuta interpreter, anaza kufanyia hivi, na ujiku na nini. Sasa zi anapiga magoti ya mwenye ndi wambe msama. Sometimes wana tetesha mtu, na hako na shida nyingi kuliko wewe. Na wana kazirikia mtu, na maa na kaziriko yake mingi kuliko yu kwa nae. Sasa ningebeba yangu kutoka kitui, 
na una yako naanza kukuletea unasema nimemfanyia nini unje nifanyia chochote ni mimi niko na makasiriko kazi yako ni kunifurahisha hello after two minutes naanza kuanza kukasirika sasa wanakwaya muimbe wimbo ya kunifurahisha hata kama iko namna gani tazama tazama ngiona watu wanapigana ni vema na vizuri ndugu kuishi pamoja kwa umoja alafu unaniambia na mimi nitiki sasa tunaendelea so that you can break that kind of nonsense sasa hapa tuko westlands eh tuko wapi na tuko na watu hata kutoka west eh western kuna watu wametoka western from western tumetoka western tukienda westlands tumetoka western tukienda western wengine wametoka eastlands eh pua <laughs> wakienda Westlands na zi tumetoka east tukija Westlands kwanza watu wa kidu tuko na bahati na mkituona hata kutusalimia tu mtapata baraka because kwa biblia hao wanajua mambo ya biblia kuliko ninyi biblia inasema eh itasemaje kutoka kwa mambo hiyo akina mama njuzi the wise men the wise people came from the east sasa mtusalimie ndio mpate nini Mupate baraka tumewatolea kutoka wapi east na watu wa islands muzeme hata ninyi mlikuwa ni kama hiyo mko karibu na hapo watu wa western watu wa western eh western yote na nyanza unajua ukirusha njiwe eh huko western unaweza ngonga professor ameelimika eh so usiwacheze so sisi wote hapa tufurahi tuwe na maringo kwanza tuko na Yesu tuko na mtakadi Paulo ai Simu nisaidie kufurahia. Na mujunge, mujunge usijeke kicheko fake. Hii dunia ya leo hasa Kenya imejaa vitu fake. Eh? Ukisikia Western fertilizer. Eh? Iko namna gani? Ukisikia Islands. Sijui maguo, sijui nini? Fake. Ukienda sijui River Road, sijui wapi unaenda unakuta vitabu ni fake hata unaweza kuta za uh, Paulins mtu amechapa zake huko tu tena ni fake hiyo mambo ya fake ime certificate ati kuna mtu hapa anaweza kutolea amepata sijui first class honors eh sijui university masinde murilo university sijui kibabi university lakini zi ya huko ni ya wapi eh rr hmm? imeundwa tu na mtu akakuundia yake ni nakaa tu hivyo any many many fake things kuna mtu hapa asiki tunaongea namna gani kwa sababu ile kinywangi alikunywa jana hakujiburudisha kumbe ni fake 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 ai leo na ninyi watatu haswa sitaki muniangushe hapo mimi sitaki fake promises hello we don't want fake promises ukisema nitafuatilia hiyo itoke kwa moyo itoke kwa roho na useme ya kweli na hii iwe inaonekana kweli ni ya kweli Unajua watu wako na madharau sana. Mtu anaangalia anasema ai hata kadhi ni akimeki hizo. Hata Yunis, ai kwanza Gentrix. Ni leo tu kesha atakuwa amerudia ile yake ya kawaida. No, prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Sio you three. Wale waliweka kitambo na wakaangusha zao za kushikilie bila kuachilia. At all times I let people see change. Actually I want to start by not even believing that you'll give the promises. Hauzi ninyi tu ni kama St Paul alionekana yeye alikuwa na dhulumu wa Kristo alipoanza kuacha kwa dhulumu anatangaza watu wanasema hapana huyu ni kama anataka tu tujitolea tu tujionyeshe ndio atushike si ni kweli lakini sasa like kuna mjamaa alienda kuuliza niambiwa jana alitumwa na mwenzake akamnunulie these plastic bags za kupack vitu unajua ilipigwa Uh, ni huku Kenya it is banned sasa kutumwa na mjamaa anaonekana anga na police na watu wa security si alikatazwa kuuziwa hayo makaratasi kwa nini hello alikatazwa kuuziwa kwa nini alikuwa anaonekana na watu wa police ha, watu wakienda hapo oh, ndiye huyu anakunywa chai na OCS ndiye huyu akona yule ndiye yule akona askari pale akizimama asimamisha akasema hapana huyu tukimuuzei makaratasi e, ni kutumwa ametumwa ndio aja tushikishe tujulikane tunauza lakini he was genuine alikuwa anataka hata kama imekatazwa now 
That was St. Paul. When he was called and he changed, he met people and they did not believe that he had already changed. But he had changed fully. Na kamua mimi ni wa Yesu. Na Yesu ni wa? Ni wangu. Yesu ni wangu. Anjua kula na imbanga wimbo mzuri. Na Yesu ni wa kwa? Ni wa kwa? Ndibenwa ni mundu. Na hila ni nake. Wa muyo. Gathe o thea. Eh? Nani mwezimama tu? Amodai kuthea kuthea. Ako na ya nasema. Yesu ni wa nani? Ni wangu. Yesu ni wangu. Stoki hapo. In Italy I was there. Awa najua ki Italian. Kuna mjamaa li batizo tuwa kwa mdogo. Akiwa mdogo. Aga batizo. Aga edwa Joseph. Wanamuita Giuseppe. Anja wika nyanga kanisa. We. Tunakuta na muliza na we we. Unaitwa nani Giuseppe? Hei kama mimi ndio. Unayanaka kanisa gani? Sama bu. Hei ajui ya naendanga wapi. Na muambia na niaje. Mbona we. Aga sayo. Iyo sono katoliko. Mimi ni mkatoliki. Damu. Mimi ni mkatoliki damu. Hata kama siendi nini? Siendi kanisa. Ile kusimama imara katika kile tumitiwa na kusimama nayo inakuwa kufurahisha. Sasa na sijui ni anza na masista ama ni wazazi na wale wengine. Wale mumeo, wale mulishindwa na usista na ukasisi. Simu kwa hapa. Tazema tini kushindwa mulishindwa hata mugini ambia aja. Mugini anayambia father, father, bisho buzinjali, nitaguzalia father. Nitaguzalia hata ukitaka sister. Ya ambia, sawa, lakini ukweli wa mambo. Ulikuwa naitwa lakini ukataka kuitika because alikuwa ameitwa alikuwa anataka kwenda but afadhali yeye alishindwa na hiyo na kashikilia ingine afadhali ukishindwa na moja ushikilie lingine hakuna njambo ngumu ushindwa na kuwa sister na ukienda uolewe na ushindwe pia na ndoa ai <laughs> umeshindwa na kula gidheri hata ukipewa uji bado inakushinda Ngangana kitu kimojo ngangane, hiyo fanye vizuri, ndi watu ingine waseme, ai, hata kama hiya jui, hiya najua. Hata kama sijui kiswa hili. Siangalawa najua kikamba? Eh? Kwa haza ngeumbiri kwa kikamba? Ai, angi mungezema, mimi ndiye mambo yote. Nikiingia kiswa hili, kuisha maneno, nakuwa wamisho. So zi makosa yangu, ni kwa vile ni meoleto kwa the wrong place. Na wanasema vizuri munajua tu, watu wa western munapenda kuku. Sinikweli? Anapenda kuku. Aswa njogo. Lakini kizo hili nasema, njogo, washamba, awiki mujini. Na huku ni mujini. Mi zitaki kuhika. <laughs> Nitaenda kuhikia kwetu. Now, tuwe serious kiasi. Mm -hmm. Tuwe nini? Sasa ii shirika inaitu aji. Daughters of Daughters of St. Paul. Hai. Sikujua kama Paul alikuwa na bibi. Lakini kumbia kwa na daughters. Na miu najua tu vile Paul alivyo. Na vile alikuwa. Nataka denjue na nini. Daughters. Ebu angalia ni kila moja wa angalia mwenzako. Unaona akikaa kama Paul. Hmm? Mwangalia tu kama anakaa kama Paul. He? Eh? Alafu. Alafu kitu ingine mzuri, Paul ni ya mwanaume. Sasa nii na wabatiza. Muna guwa? Kwa zauti? Paul, 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 Paulines, Paulines, Pauline, eh, Pauline. Na mi nina kija na Robi kila wakati, ata kama sijui na muna gai lazima niangalia macho, niangalia wapi? Kwa Paulines. Hii hapa ka nyumba hii ya bookshop, mi ya maa ni kama za tena and there. Lazima ni kuji, ata kama ni kuangalia, kwa anzema kuangalia ni bure, Lagini lazima onunue kitu. <laughs> Angalia du, na otoke na kitu. Pauline, Pauline, sasa wasichana, wanaetangwa Pauline nini nyote. Si mukai kama Paulo, na mukai kama Paulo. Lagini uja, uja dhari because Paulo alikuwa mbaya sana. Uyo mjama, alikuwa mbaya sana. Sijui ni kama nani. Very, very terrible guy. But the good thing, the Damascus moment came. And after that, it was never the same. Na li overtake wale wengine wote. Sijui kama wai kimbia, ukapita wale wengine walikuwa mbele. Kuna kajamaa kakwetu, sijui ni kakwetu wama ni kwa father kauzo hapo, kakwa hapo one of the priests, wacha ni muingilia kwa zaudu ni wakwetu. Kamu jamaa kalikuwa kana mbio. Kukimbia, kana kuwanga, number one. Wacha, kuna, kana shinda kwa, kwa shule yao, the local primary. Wakienda kwa zone, kana kuwa kamwisho. <laughs> na kalikuwa tu number one. Kwanza kame badeo anayeto kipcho keke inu. Na wanja muona wa mekaita tu hivyo. Sasa kama mjama kana kujua na kimbia, kana nini mbaya, kivua imeisha nizijui hewa. 
Siji ina kibua inanuka damu. Siji damu inanuka na mnaga. Neka mulima tuka mepanda. Kukakucha coach, akazema uki jana lazima ashinde. Ata shinda zono, ata national huyu lazima ashinde. Si kukaa hivi. Sasa kamjaka kamekuja kituza na muna gani, kamambiwa na mwingine, ukevuta bangi, aki utakimbia, ata kuliko mshale. <laughs> na akika jawi kuivuta. Kama wanja wei vuta hiyo kitu, uzi njaribu ziku mshindata. Siki kavuta moja, si uvute kama he. Si muvute. Tena ingine, hii natosha. Hmm? Kwa hatu wanaita muse, muse hili, kama na nu, ni isawa sasa mi nita, nita shinda. On to your max. Eh? Aya, get set, go. Wakizema go, kalianguka tu hapo. Hapo chini mpa. Alafika nafanya na mikono, ufanya kama mimi. Fanya hivi sasa. Apana mmoja chini nyuma kabisa. Hivi. Alafu. Aya, sema, tuendete. Tuendete. Yani na maisha tunaenda. Nime waacha. Nime waacha. Mimi ndiye huyo. Wanapiga kona, anaona haka makombele. Malimu wakazema sasa. Ay, this young man after all the training, I must do something. Haka jikuwa kinjiti, kwa hapo zile zinafunganga hapo kwa field. Haka ngoa moja. Haka mungongea moja. Pap! Moja maa haka muka, ninini malimu kimbia? Ali kimbia, haka overtake wote. Haka kuja hapa number one. Number one. <laughs> Bata ya nini? Iyo kiboko. Kiboko moja. Ili muamusha kaenda kwa vateki wengine na kashinda. Sasa, ninyi. Hata kama mudikuwa iyo chura. Ile amwisho. Mi nainua kiboko. Nangonga wewe. Catherine, unaguja? Number one. Hii story ya kuwachwa na wengine kuwachwa kuwachwa. Inaishi hapo. Ay, hey, hey. Unis. Oh, nataka mbili. Eh? I saw her when she was in the secondary school. Sasa na muambia wewe unaacho kifanya na mnagani. Unatua ibisha. Unatua ibisha. Unajua ni miona ngari pali miandi kwa St. Teresa's School. Zini school ama ni church? St. Teresa's Church. Aki ni kafuraia. Uwe. Unajua uniza metoka St. Teresa's Church. Iyani. Nikazema kumpe nilipotoka huko walinunua basi. Ai. <laughs> Kumbe mimi ndio nilikuwa nimekajengea maendeleo. Kumbe tangu nitoke huko wamefanya nini? Sasa nimezalimia father wao huyo hapa kauza. Nika ya congratulations ya nini? Naona mlinunua basi. Kaniambia hapana. Hiyo ni Zendriza Isli. Ah. <laughs> ai, ai, ai. <laughs> Lakini uzuri nilikuwa nishafurahia. Nilikuwa nishafurahia kwamba alinunua basi. Kwa hivyo hata kama wakununua mimi tayari nilikuwa nime 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 nimepata nime wamenunua wamepiga maendeleo. And I'm not the first one. Tu jamaa tu ili tuwa kwetu tuliacha kazi tukaenda kufanya kazi huko huko madhari hapo kwenu. Najua watu wale kwa wengi wanaishi hapo. Sasa amekuja anafanya kazi huko, mmoja si akaenda kuishi wapi, mwingine akaenda kusijiru ruiru. So wakaka for many years without seeing each other. Mmoja akasema like the man in the Bible. What is the man in the Bible say? Eh? Adi? Or oh, which one? You are very good. Lakini munandiza maswali kwa nimi ni kuhuliza. Swali na swali. Aya. Yule mujama alikula mali yake yote. Oh. <laughs> eh? Alizema aje. Eh? Adi? Ali? Atarui kwa baba yake. Sasa alizema atarui kwa baba yake. Na nini mulikuweko? Mulisikia hiyo story? Kweli? Eh, alikuwa mearibu mali yake yote. Akazema apana. I know what to do. I'll go back to my father. So mjamali zumbukia Nairobi. Unajua nakaa na wengine. Alavu ya njaka pata kibarua. Wamekula peza kimisha. Na kirudi. Anakuta mjamaa. Hakuna hata moshi hapo. Wameka. Anamua ni kubaya. Ay. Kumite. Eh. Kukona muna gani? Kwa gilu ya muna zemanga aje? Yani kugumu? Eh? Kwa zauti? Si umere? Na kama unasema uongeze ya sasa kumekauka? Si umere? <laughs> sasa wajamaa wamepitia kwa buchari wamekula matumbo. 
wamepiga muzi wake alafu anasema ni kugumu hakuna kitu amekaa na njaa anasema pana wacha nirudi wapi nyumbani wacha nikata hii story shot hawa sitaki kuweka sana na yeye alipokuja nyumbani akakuta kiwanja hao kama hii pale walikuwa iliuzwa na kuganjengwa shule iliuzwa na kuganjengwa shule unajua kuna gate akafika akasema we kumbe Mungu ni mzuri mimi niliharibikiwa brother yangu akaelea mzuri maji yamejenga kuna mpaka mata akakuja akafika kwa gate akasema hoti hiyo ni kikamba kwa hodi aduna d sisi ni kama muzitu jekele haleluya because ni hata hamuna ji <laughs> hmm? Hmm, ji. Eh? Na sisi ni wakali. Na ninyi muna? Muna kula? Eh? Sisi ni wakali. Ukali. Wanakula ukali. So now, akakuja hapa akasema, "Oti." Sasa anambiwa, "Wewe nani?" Anasema kama, "Mimi Joseph." Unataka nini hapa? Nataka kuona bro. Anaitwa admission number gani? Nasema, ndiye mwenye hapa. Hai. Akasema huyu, huyu mwenda wazimu. Si alifungwa mikono, hawekwa hapa angoje, sijui asubuhi. Kama kama jamaa kika nilipita hapa tu bila kusema kanaenda wapi. Now, this idea. Ya huyu kijana alisema I know what to do. Tunasema hivyo. You must know what to do and then know the right thing and do the right thing like that man of the of the Bible. That man of the Bible. Sasa Paul did all that could be done akafanya mabaya yote lakini alipoamua kufanya mazuri aliamua na kurudi nyuma na alikuwa mkali hata kwa kusema hapana nakumbuka ninyi hata akitetesha Saint Paul ya Peter Peter anamwambia hapana hii maneno hii hatutaki na akaandika akasema mi nasema ukweli na ukweli peke yake i speak the truth i speak the truth eh? i like i like Saint Paul by the way eh? i like Saint Paul na ninyi leo ndawachongoa mpaka mtaki kukaa kama ye ndio muamuke museme kama alifanya hivyo na ni baba yetu na alikuwa mmoja na ninyi mko wengi hata hao watatu if you are three pause how can you change how can you manage to change the world aliandika barua kama ngapi hii mutiani ni ngumu hii eh the letters of saint paul hadi 13 hata zingine akiwa ngerezani si ni kweli hata zingine akiwa ngerezani now if you could write 13 letters How many are you going to write? Well, ukiandika 13 times 3, hizo ni ngapi? Watu wa hesabu. 39. You know that 9 reminds me of ile viboko alipata. Eh? Alipata ngapi? Eh? 40 minus 1. Hizo zote sasa. Muandike barua kama hizo. Na zii barua ya tia line moja ama line mbili. Katoto kaliambiwa atikaandike kwa sentence. Kaandike sentence. Unaanzia vile na itaishia. Sasa kana jaribu kama then and I made first I made my final profession my journey to sisterhood. Si unaambiwa hivyo? My journey to sisterhood. I love you same. What a beautiful day when I made my last profession. Sasa hiyo ndio anasema I started the journey and finally I made my last profession. What a wonderful day when I made my last profession. Line tatu. Sasa wale watu wenye vile walianza kuitwa ukaitika ukaendelea mpaka ukafika hapa ataki hizo story hmm? you give us your life and even the life of others and challenge others and one of the things that i love most nitaanza kuuliza hata ninyi maswali now paul tells us imitate me kwa sauti as i imitate christ as i imitate christ ai ndio niwauliza muangaliane kama una mtu anakaa kama paul nini ya paul unaona ndani yake ni ile makosa alifanya kudhulumu wa Kristu. Hello. Kama wewe ni zile na dhulumu wengine. Wewe sasa ni Paul proper. Eh ni Saul. Wewe ni Saulo. Sasa kama wewe unakuwa uogopi chochote, wewe ni Paulina wa kweli na ile mengine like father like uh, daughter. Ndio tukae tunaamua. And then transformation. If I may say one thing then Rudy Europa Europa goes experience. Now How many vows are we going to make? Ngapi? Tatu. Moja. Obedience. Chastity. Poverty. We, kila moja ashike yake hapo mtakuwa mnabadilishana. Three vows. Three vows. Hmm? Three vows. Hmm? Now, 
ile kwa community inaletanga shida sana ni gani obedience obedience iko na shida and by the even as a bishop that's the thing that aita ni kausha kuzimamisha kasisi pa i give you a year out you can you can provide you can angalia angalia namna gani because hii mambo ya poverty unaweza niambia tu ni shida imezidiwa hapa si ukafanya namna gani tukaelewana sio yengine whatever shetani amepita kukawa namna gani sijui nini why should you find obedience so difficult it should be the easiest hello kwa hivyo as the others become difficult hiyo tuanzane nayo hiyo hiyo ya obedience and the superior should be nodding and even clapping for me because na kusaidia kazi hmm? Imagine having all the sisters obedient uko hapo kwa congregation hiyo una shida how wonderful it would be hello sasa si kama leo tutakula kuku ama ni mbuzi ama ni nini zote ziko haya i know sis to go adopt go na kula kichwa ya kuku hiyo tuko na kula na western inapikwa hapo ndani watu wanakula pia na ni tamu na i want us to agree wasisa kama ni kula kichwa ni ya kuku ya mbuzi au ya ngombe hata ya ngurue lakini muzikule kichwa ya sister hello na nikisema hivyo fanya kichwa namna hii muzikule sister kichwa mutakula sisa kichwa si ufanye kichwa ile in the other way eh na ninyi mutakula sisa mkubwa kichwa mutakulana vichwa Hapana si muzeme kwa Saudi otujue Aha very good very good si mjipigie makofi basi Na tukienda muzianze kuniambia unajua sasa tungekataa aje ukiwa hapo mbele Mm <laughs> Ajua nimeona mengi in my short history Eh hey, nimeona mengi mnaenda kwa Arambi mnakusanya pesa ya kuunganisha kama sherehe kama hii ya leo mtoe pesa Alafu sasa unakuta tumetoa all the congregations have to give money so that you have a good celebration. Si ni kweli? Nao ninyi mnaojua hapa unasema sasa supira nasema we are going to give 500,000 for this chadi. We. Wakisikia hivyo, nimeona timu ya Assumption Sisters, nimeona sita moja pale. Na ninyi mtatoa ngapi? Ukisikia ni 500,000. Assumption Raili mtatoa ngapi? Eh? kwa sauti amesema hapana mupite wale wao wenyewe ai hey, hapana let's be sincere mwenyewe akitoa 500 au atatoa ngapi eh 300 watu wa 300 i can see the these are little sisters of st francis na wao pia wamewalika na ninyi mtatoa ngapi ah eh? Five, five kama wao. Hai, hao ni masongo. Wanatoa five, wana match hiyo yenu. Alafu hao wengine sisi tunatoa kama ngapi? Ile tutatoa. Kwaya ninyi. Mtatoa ama nikupokea tu? Mtatoa kama ngapi? Eh? Abatawaimbia mtoe nyingi. Atawaimbia mtoe nyingi. Na makazizi? Mtawaombea. Na akitaka mtoe toa do this a this in practice njifundishe kutoa kutoa ni moyo usambe ni utajiri eh hata usiambiwe ni maskini toa ndio tujue ni moyo tuseme watoe 100 sasa zikichanganywa zote zinakuwa nyingi na mazizi alikuwa ameambiwa kila mmoja lazima atoe kule watatoa tutai kujua kila mmoja atoe 20000 sasa wakimaliza mtu anakuja anasema we unajua ile yangu ilikuwa nimetoa kwetu tunasema ya kudhucha Sio kama unakita hiyo kitu enda kudhucha. Hatuko tumetoa 500 ndio wengine waone tuko wa karimu ndio eh, little sisters watoe 300. Sasa vile wametoa hiyo tuturudishiane. Mm? Hiyo tufanye nini? Turudishiane because ilikuwa ni ya hii kama hiyo anasema alikuwa anawaimbia ndio watoe pesa nyingi. When we do things ukinjitolea ile nimesema tukisema tu kutana vichwa usianze kusema mimi nilikuwa nasema tu ndio sisi afurahie sikuwa nikimaanisha hivyo turudi kama ile ya zamani. No ukisema obedience is for forever and ever na hizo zingine mbili hizo zingine mbili tungeongea sisi pekee lakini vile kuna wazazi wacha tu niulize kwetu sisi watata wanatauliza 
Supposing you have a problem with the three valves. As wale muli profess. Supposing sasa tuko na hiyo shida. Sisi wote hata mimi. Na leo Roho Mtakatifu, si tumesema hapa uje Roho Mtakatifu. Na kwaya mkatuimbia. Eh? Mumeimba aje kastanza kamoja. ya mkono yangu nitakufukuza utakwenda urudi nyumbani ukakuja na your grandparents not even parents wote wawili so if we pray the holy spirit comes na kama kuna familia hapa iko na shida ya ndoa mmekuwa mkipigana mmekuwa si mzee hataki kutoa pesa ya kusaidia hii imekuwa shida tumekuwa na shida sisi wenyewe umekuwa sijui umeoa lakini pia unataka sijui mabibi za wengine watoto wengi hii yote uko na shida nayo lakini leo waambiwe hiyo yote ya zamani nimekuondolea. Hiyo yote nimefanya nini? Ile shida umekuwa nayo ya kufuata sheria za Mungu na sheria za kanisa nimekuondolea. Na tunaanza upya leo. Alafu naambiwa kama kwa Biblia. Kama kwa Biblia inasema aje. Hello. Eh? Wapi? Aha, unajua sijui ni wapi lakini najua hiyo story. Yule mama alishikwa siji kwa maneno mbaya. Alitaka kupigwa mawe. Oh. How does it end? Inaishanga aje? Ninyi ndio kimbele mbele kama mimi. Inaishinga aje? Ha? Ajugu ni tayari mshanguka. You should be in hospital now. Aishingi hivyo. Aishingi hivyo. Nani anakumbuka hapa? Ah, munyamaze kwanza. Ninyi mume 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 dischargeiwa. Kipande hiki tuko pamoja. Ainaishanga namna gani? Yule mama alishikwa. Anasemekana wewe umetishikwa kwa uzizi sijui nini. Akaita watu tumpige mawe. Mwisho kabisa inaishingi namna gani? Hii mtiani ngumu lakini rahisi. Ngoja ngoja tu njafika huko. Tuko kule mundi kwa sasa. Ajugue mawa mpige. Eh, ajugue mawa mpige kama unje kuwa na dhambi. Lakini hii kuishia hapo. Bado inaendelea. Wacha tukuje hapa sasa. Ama tukuje kwa makazisi. Na hapa nyi ndio watu wa Paulini. Mnajuanga hii maneno. Eh, ama ni barua za St Paul au ndio wa gospel. Wacha tuingie kwa watu wa gospel. Yes, inaishinga namna gani? kwa sauti hebu aambieni eh kwa Kiswahili kwa Kiluya eh kwa Kiluya nani atusaidia hapo Jendrix na Kizito kuna zamangu aje jo lakini uronono na adida <laughs> si kitu nakaa na muna hiyo kwa kikamba enda na ndukeke dhahabu yengi go and see no more unajua ilikuwa nasema hiyo ndiyo tumalizie kama na hiyo we ungeambiwa leo ile shida ya kichwa ngumu uko nayo imemalizwa hizo zote umesamehewa hata kama ulikuwa umefukuzwa umerudi lakini nenda na usikuwe na kichwa ngumu tena kutaenda ngaje Hello kutaenda ngaje Ah Uta Utaenda kwa furaha Alafu kesho yake Ukiambiwa nenda sijui ufanye na kila wakati ni mimi Yeye unasema kama nimesamewa hii sitafanya nini Sitarudia tena Sijui sasa nimwambia ukambani When I was also in Nanjua Mundika Najua Mundika. Kuna shule huko? Halo? Inaitwa aje? Ha? St Mary's Mundika. Sasa hiyo shule hapa kuna walimu? Kuna walimu hapa. Si usimame kama ni mwalimu ni kuchongoe kiazi tu. Mwalimu mmoja. Mwalimu mmoja tu. 
umeanza kuogopa eh hey, mmoja ako pale na mwingine wewe ndiye principal mwalimu mwingine eh wanaogopa mvui kianza muniambie sasa mwalimu mwingine tuseme ni eh au amesimama wewe ndiye mwalimu sasa wa darasani yule ni mwalimu mzuri wewe ni mwalimu mbaya headmaster mwalimu mzuri mwalimu mbaya wewe headmaster kutana na huyo na amechelewa asubuhi hebu mwambie asiwei chelewa tena <laughs> unamuogopa sasa amemwambia na wewe muhakikishie utachelewa tena amesema atachelewa tena hiyo ni asubuhi sasa wamekaa eh hey, wacha ifike njioni saa tisa. shule mnafunganga saa ngapi saa kumi. saa nane unuzu mwalimu ameenda sokoni akirudi anakutana na mwalimu ambaye vitabu anaenda nyumbani anamuuliza au kama asubuhi tu uliniambia utachelewa tena unaenda wapi saa hii simuketi tu ndamalizia mgao mmeketi akawamwambia principal tulikumbaliana asubuhi sitawahi chelewa tena nimechelewa asubuhi sasa nimkaangalia mgumune amesema hapa atanjiita yeye kwa mkutano e, utafanya ukasema tutaitana kama mkutano mimi na roho yangu tujue kama tutakosa tena nimeita mkutano mimi na mimi mwenyewe nikanjiuliza nilichelewa asubuhi nikija jameni nitachelewa njioni nikirudi nikaamua niende nyumbani mapema ndio nizichelewe shule mara ya, ya pili nikichelewa nikija nizielewe nikifanya nini nikirudi huyo atamfanyia nini we kama mwalimu mkuu amwambia anaenda nyumbani usifanye nini usirudi tena i was just want to talk that about go and sin no more by the way when you remember your final profession you three when you remember your final profession just remember that go and sin no more whether you are a sinner or not a sinner but they, when you are to go and sin no more is very funny ni kama kama jamaa kaliuliza kama kwaya sasa ninyi mnaimba si ni kweli hii kwaya ni ya wapi eh yeah? centrizas mwachana hiyo isli tu tukai centrizas ndio hata sisi tuseme tu kwa centrizas lazima mzeme isli eh yeah? must you must include in, include the isli why na kwetu pia kuna centrizas si mkae mnakaa kama wakamba kwanza so aya send reasons is li na hii munjibu muliacha maringo the answer is yes or no muliacha maringo <laughs> eh ati mumesema aje no which means nani alikufundisha hivyo Nimesema muliacha maringo mukasema no which means bado munaringa na mukisema yes muliacha maringo yes inamaanisha nini tulikuwa nayo tulikuwa nayo you see that's where now the problem comes kikwambia go and see no more sasa kama huko ana dhambi naanza kuniambia sasa nisema namna gani ma nimesema nimevuta yote tuanze upya okay and this is for everybody And you know everything must have an experience. For me I must one day say how did it feel when I woke up to go for the final profession. Mimi nasema najua niliamka tu. Sikuwa na cha kusema, nikaamua tu Mungu wewe saidia, ukikosa kusaidia shauri yako. Unajua hapa nikianguka, nimeangusha mpaka kanisa. Kwa hivyo Mungu lazima asaidie. Angalau kwani tatoka hapa bila ka point. Hata nikianza kuuliza maswali, uulize tu kwa upole, mseme we. Hata kama hakuwa na point lakini alikuwa anasema ile yake kwa upole. Hata kama hakuwa na hii lakini hakutuangalia vibaya. Hata kama alitumboesha tukalala hakuanza kutukasirikia. Hello. You must remember something of this day. And I want to quote somebody wa kutoka Western. One of the great men from uh, Bungoma diocese. Eh? The oldest man from the whole of Bungoma. Anaitwa nani? Adi Kumbe mnajua? Si tumpigie makofi. Baadhi amebakisha kadogo tu aanze kuwa saint. Kadogo tu. Labda leo ndio imebaki. Tuombe ili sasa aweze kuwa declared saint. At least tuwe na wetu tunaringa naye. Kenya, 
yetu na tena ni mtoto wenu wa kutoka huko Bungoma eh eh Saint Maurice Cardinal Otunga hello so why did i say i talk about him and you know you people the Paulines don't be like leo uh, nitawaingilia don't be like uh, kibao hapa kwenu nimeandika vizuri Paulines as you come in inaonekana si ni kweli and to say home of holiness like when you go to elder zema home of champions home of champions let's call this home of holiness alafu unakuja unaangalia kumbe hakuna holiness now new are the people of books the people of books muna produce books nini kingine eh adi audio visuals eh unajua wale amuja waenda darasani ya saa nani audio visual ni yani mwisho unaweza kuangalia picha na pia usikize kama ni music nimekuja nikisikiliza yenu kwanza hata si music i was listening to the way of the cross uh, divine mercy and the rosary eh kasidi tu kama nimeweka hapo we kama nipea mood <laughs> hey hey very nice very nice very nice hiyo ni kazi yenu now the problem is hiyo kitu naweza kuniguza niende kwa Mungu na umekaa tu hapa nayo na inaenda motoni eh you produce it it takes out to heaven it takes you to purgatory let me not condemn you to hell <laughs> eh no i'm just saying in case olga will listen to me <laughs> bon dia eh now if you don't follow what you produce utatotolea na utabaki hapo which is not what we want so the police must be like polins you produce the good things but they must also help you now I was talking about that card no tunga unajua mimi sikumjua why not for you mkaandika a very nice kibuku mka produce margaret roch and margaret ogola hello eh hey, tume are we together now umeanza yeah. kuamka ka kitabu kanaitwa aje the gift of grace the gift of grace unajua na kasoma nasiji ni wangapi wamesoma we are losing the idea of uh, reading culture culture of reading is very by law now magazizi nawapatia penans not go and see no more but go and read the gift of grace na ukikosa kusoma siji uende motoni ama unataka uende wapi nenda usome ndio one vile holiness inakujanga na uanze kungangana ndio siku moja tu kusome kama kama hao hello kwa hiyo yani ni kuimba ama ni ku ni kufanya nini si mnaweza hata kutunga wimbo ya utunga mutunge wimbo wa eh wimbo mutunge otunga wimbo mukatunge otunga wimbo eh hiyo itawezekana you look at him and all the things that he did but the good thing that i was saying is the day when he was baptized the day he was baptized anasema yani alisikia ni kama Mungu anaongea naye na anamfanya mwanawe. Eh? Watu wasomi wanaita divine eh, filiation. Yeye umeandika Kiingereza ngumu. Eh? Anasikia kama amefanywa mtoto wa Mungu na akachia kama mtoto wa Mungu. Alifafanywa cardinal na kupewa red eh, heart ile red ni hiyo heart anapewa. Akajisikia sasa hata anaweza mwaga damu kwa ajili ya hiyo kazi. Wewe sasa utasikia namna gani? Yaani kama utaenda duniani yote ukitangaza injili ama ni kupitia tu tumalize upate pete ukalale ukae the same no i have your own experience you know what time is coming for you to prostrate usianze kupiga inaitwa kwetu kingo sijui inaitwa namna gani tunaimba litania na wewe unangorota sasa unakuja kuamsha amka imefanya nini imeisha <laughs> mwingine alienda kwa mazishi wako hapo kwa matanga amekuja amelewa Watu wanasema hoda 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 kaza tupewe vile tulivyo <laughs> Tupewe tulivyo hiyo ndiyo hoda yake MZ naye anataka hiyo hapana anawaambia mkae hodali ndio tufanye nini tufanye so i want you to have an experience which is lasting Catherine ukumbuke ile siku nilikuwa hapo hii inashika kwanza moja umeshika na hii ya kila moja tusema kula ni nini kula ni kichwa ya yeah? ya kuku au mbuzi au au hata ukitaka punda mimi zina shida hata ukitaka kichwa ya nini yote isipokuwa ya mwenzako usikule mwenzako kichwa mpatie utulivu wa kichwa ajue kwamba nimezaa na nimezaa vizuri na tumetulia 
na tunaishi vizuri na kama wewe ni bwana unasema siku ya leo all those who are married unasema angalia bibi kama ako karibu hata umwangalie tu mbinguni kama ako huko hapa ako nyumbani unasema mimi leo wewe hey, bibi umepata bwana si mzee unjiseme hivyo unjipeleke kwa hiyo meeting eh hey, go to a conference ya sasa useme bibi yangu leo umepata bwana na wewe bibi bibi unasema nini ambia mzee wako popote alipo leo hii eh wengine mnatumia kutumia ni kuvunga mdomo eh hata kama unataka kusema loud same same we leo mzee wangu umepata nini umepata bibi umepata bibi umepata bibi na tutatembea pamoja tutatembea pamoja tutaishi kwa pamoja these are the things that i would wish that we go with it na makazizi wataachwa tu hivyo hello nani mnasema aje nasema mimi makazi mseme hivyo ni askofu tu si useme hivyo tu itaisha vizuri ni askofu tu wakitui ametuchelewesha twende tukaobey tukafanye kazi hata mimi yangu sasa the new name of all the names i have is paul i'll be very polite in my works nitatangaza neno nitatangaza nini neno eh kikamba roazi ni utafanya ndawe kibumu ongo nitachotwa maji kwa mgongo nikieneza nini injili agai aliamuzwa akaambiwa ni hii ni hii ni kama ni uongo ama ni ya kweli tutakuja kuangalia baadaye but hiyo ni kasisi za tuazium ni kasisi eh wewe ndugu unaitwa father father paul na huyo mwingine anaitwa father kennedy sasa huyo ni kennedy na paul sasa paul wewe kuwa ndiye mzuri because you are very polite sasa Kennedy wewe ndiye pipi ya ndiye curate. Imagine misa ya kwanza ni saa ngapi? Saa mbili. Sasa misa ni ya saa mbili na Kennedy bado amelala. Sasa unaambiwa watu wanapiga kesimu. Hey father, kwani hakuna misa leo? Unakimbia kwa Kennedy umwangalie. Unakuta amelala, unamwamsha. Father, hebu kazirika kwanza umwambie. Watu wanangoja na umelala hapa. Sasa mjawa anamwangalia father, anamwambia tuliza ro, eh, ro. Tuliza ro. Ni watu wa wapi wale kule Westlands kule kwa Polins akaambia don't worry. Ah watu si ni injili tu inawazumbua. Leo watahubiriwa. Leo hii watahubiriwa wacha niamke. Anaamka hata bila kunawa, bila kupiga mswaki na anaenda. Na anatwanga kibarua anarudi njioni. Wanamuuliza kuko namna gani? We anakuote the Bible. Anakuote the all the other people wale ambao kuhubiria au ni kama wezi sijui na nini leo ndi wamepata mhubiri all the rest wa like ni eh, robbers i don't know like what leo ndi wamepata mhubiri because amehubiri vizuri i better also uh, finish i will uh, quote the last thing ndio tuingie there is a place saint paul went to preach ni wapi hapo panaanzanga na a eh as mjibie magovi sasa Athens Arepagus in Athens na akahubiri kama mimi akahubiri akahubiri akasweat akafanya namna gani amehubiri watu wakalala wakaamka sijui nini wengine wanasikiliza lakini alipotaja ufufuko ai walicheka simucheka kwa sababu hii ndio inaweza kutoka hii kulea sasa hebu mucheke acha leo nasi kucheka walikuwa anacheka walimuchekelea walimuchekelea akaangalia akasema kwa ni nini akaambia tukusikilize siku nyingine let's hear you another day let's hear you another day you'll see i hear me another day but now before you hear me another day i want to challenge you the polines and our ngine bring some creativity bring some novelty in the work that you do the use of social means of communication I will sound very negative because a future can come when this bookshop may be closed. A distant future. We are now doing well. The catch of reading is very low. Reading is very low. So at hiyo kitabu nasema hiyo at gift of grace if I were you I would even put it into a song or into a drama whatever it is. One of the audio visuals I love ni maisha ya mtakatifu Paulo Muliona. Hello. Najua it might be there. Na tujui nasema namna gani. Na ninyi je? 
Did you see it? Maisha ya mtakatifu Paulo. Mwinjaji wa bookshop uiweke hapa chini kila mtu anunue kopi. Na wewe kama ina uzangu 1000 mwambie hii kitu ni 3000 lakini vile askofu amesema ni 1500 sasa. Hello? Wana uzanga ngapi? 1000. Lakini yeye aseme Ah, adi? Aseme vile askofu ameitangaza nitainunua lakini sisi tuna uzanga 3000 lakini leo mko na 50% discount. Na ukijangamuka naweza kuongozia ingine. Utaenda na 1000 yako, atarudi na 1000 na wewe ende na na hiyo audio visual. I wish you could also make it into those flash disks. Because watu hii mambo ya hiyo ma disk nyingine ya kuzuguka wamechoshwa nayo. Si ni kweli? Now, hiyo maneno tumefika hapo. I will challenge you look for new ways of proclaiming the word of God. The new Areopagus. The new Areopagus. Tutakuja tuweke exam. Njoo mmeleta kitu mpya. What have you brought new and how is it happening? I say that as I close because I have been to Dublin for many, many, many times in Ireland. And their main uh, means of social communication is not Pauline's. It is their book shows. Naitanguaje? Nanzaka na V. Veritas. Eh, that's why you have to put a mutia ni kwa ni mewa ni mewa likia. Inaitoaje? Veritas. Ya Kenya inaitoa? Pauline's. Kwa ni muna kwa ni kuna ingin. My book shows that those are your products. So their main publisher ni Veritas. Ya wapo kwa tu ni Pauline's. But you know the bad news is that Veritas is no longer working. Wamefunga. Walianza to branch, to branch, to branch. Igeisha kabisa. People don't want to read religious items. People don't even want to buy rosaries. People don't want this and this. Olga and your company, you must look for ways of encouraging us and make us sustain the culture of reading, the culture of um, uh, listening. Na hizo zote even because we have Capuchin TV here today, and I'm happy with the work they are doing. Why don't you also collaborate the things that you produce, work on a market, him on a produce, so that we endele mbele. Ndiyo hii kanizi isikufe, ikiwa mikononi mwetu. Tuziba guza tuko hani copy, ama two copies. Let's look for new ways of social communication. Help the church of God, help the bishops to transmit the word better. To transmit the word of God better. Because your poor lines be like sent Paul, God bless you. God bless these three of, of uh, our sisters as they make their final profession. May it be final. Your sins are forgiven. Neither am I going to condemn you, but I must give you some penance. Go and sin no more. May you be brilliant as you are. May you remain strong. May you remain focused. And may the church be better because you have made this profession. God bless you all. Wakati huu, watawa wetu watahojiwa na baba haskofu. Kama kweli wako tayari kuwekwa wakufu na kutakaswa kwa ajili ya injili na kazi ya mungu. Kama mabinti wa mtakatifu paulo. Kama kweli wanataka kuishi maisha ya upendo na unyenyekevu kulingana na katiba au sheria ya shirika la mabinti wa mtakatifu paulo. Dear sisters, in baptism you have already died to sin and have been set aside for God's service 
Are you now resolved to unite yourself more closely to God by the bond of perpetual profession? I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. <clears throat> I am. Are you resolved with the help of God to embrace forever the life of perfect chastity, obedience, and poverty chosen by Christ our Master, way, truth, and life, and by Mary, Queen of the Apostles? I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved to tend to perfect charity toward God and neighbor, following the gospel constantly, living in community with your sisters, and observing the constitutions of the daughters of St. Paul? I am. I am. I am. Are you resolved with the grace of the Holy Spirit to generously dedicate your whole life to evangelization with the instruments of social communication? I am. I am. I am. May God, who has begun the good work in you, Bring it to fulfillment before the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. Basi tutasimama sisi wote ndio tuanze litania. Kwa kuimba litania ya watakatifu sisi pamoja na watawa wetu Sister Catherine Wanza mtua Sister Yunis Kasioka Mutui na Sister Gentrix na Sirumbi Barasa tunajiunga na kanisa lote duniani na mbinguni mbele ya Mungu wetu tukiomba neema na baraka kwa hawa dada zetu wanaojitolea wakfu kwa Mungu sisi sote tutabaki tumesimama nao watawa wetu watalala kifudifudi mbele ya altare wakijiunga na malaika wote wa mbinguni. Hii ni ishara ya kujitolea kwao milele kwa Bwana katika kuishi maisha ya ufukara, usafi wa moyo na mwili na ya utiifu na pia kujiweka kabisa mikononi mwa Mungu. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God the Almighty Father that he may bless these daughters of his whom he has called to follow Christ the Master in evangelical perfection and confirm them in their resolve. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Apostles, and all the saints intercede for them.
Padari kwa ijili kutuombe Mtakatifu yunisi kutuombe Mtakatifu tetrisi kutuombe Mtakatifu Katerina kutuombe Mtakatifu wa Mungu wa ume kwa wake mtuombe Oh, 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 oh,
Hear the prayers of your people. By your grace, prepare these your daughters, so that the fire of the Holy Spirit may purify them from sin and inflame them with the ardor of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Tuketi tafadhali. Sasa watawa wetu hawa watafunga nadhiri wakiwa altareni. Pahali ambapo Yesu anajitolea kwetu Kila mara tunaposherehekea ibada ya Ikaristi takatifu. Katika meza hii ya Bwana wakiungwa mkono na jumuiya yote ya Wakristo, Sister Catherine Wanza Mtua, Sister Eunice Kasioka Mutui na Sister Gentrix na Sirumbi Barasa, 
wanaimarishwa kuishi maisha yao ya utakaso kama mabinti wa mtakatifu Paulo kwa maana ni katika kanisa ndipo wataishi maisha yao ya utakaso watao wawili watasimama kama mashahidi pamoja na sister mama mkuu wa shirika letu hapa Kenya na hapo watawa wetu watakapokuwa wamefunga nadhiri sister mama mkuu atapokea nadhiri zao za milele kanuni ya uthibitisho ya nadhiri watakayoisoma wameiandika kwa mikono yao ina maana kwamba kile wanachokifanya wameamua kwa uhuru hakuna aliye walazimisha Baadaye wataweka sahihi. Sahihi hii ni ishara ya agano kati ya watawa wetu na Bwana Yesu aliyewaita na kati yao na shirika la mabinti wa mtakatifu Paulo. In, in response to the love of God who has called me to follow more closely Christ the Master, way and truth and life. Among the daughters of St. Paul, I, Sister Catherine Wanza Mutua, in full freedom, totally offer myself to the Father to be consecrated by him in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to live in communion with my sisters and to be faithful to the charism of the founder, dedicating myself in the church to evangelization with the means of social communication, trusting in Mary, Queen of Apostles, and in St. Paul Apostle, in the hands of Sister Rosemary Mweni Mwaiwa, Provincial Superior, before all of you here present, I make the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for all my life according to the constitutions of the Institute. May the grace of God help me to be faithful. Amen.
in response to the love of God, who has called me to follow more closely Christ the Master, way and truth and life. Among the daughters of St. Paul, I, Sister Eunice Kasioka Mutui, in full freedom, totally offer myself to the Father to be consecrated by him in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to live in communion with my sisters and to be faithful to the charism of the founder, dedicating myself in the church to evangelization with the means of social communication, trusting in Mary, Queen of Apostles, and in St. Paul Apostle, in the hands of Sister Rosemary Mweni Mwaiwa, Provincial Superior, before all of you here present, I make the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for all my life, according to the constitutions of the institutes. May the grace of God help me to be faithful. Amen. In response to the love of God, who has called me to follow more closely Christ the Master, way and truth and life among the daughters of St. Paul, I, Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi Barasa, in full freedom, totally offer myself to the Father to be consecrated by him in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to live in communion with my sisters, and to be faithful to the charism of the founder, dedicating myself in the church to evangelization with the means of social communication, trusting in Mary, Queen of Apostles, and in St. Paul Apostle, in the hands of Sister Rosemary Mueni Mwaiwa, Provincial Superior, before all of you here present, I make the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience for all my life, according to the constitutions of the Institute. May the grace of God help me to be faithful. Amen.
Now is the time for the solemn blessings for the newly professed. Sister Catherine Wanzam Tua, Sister Eunice Kasioka, and Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi, Sasa Watapiga Magoti, Nababa Askofu, Akinyosha Mikono Yake, Atasema Sala Yabaraka, Yani Solemn Blessing. Askofu Pia, Akiwanyoshia Mikono Yake, Kuabariki Watawetu, Inamana Yakwamba, Kutakaswa Kwa Watawetu, Kunatoka Kwa Mungu, Kwa nguvu ya roho mtakatifu. Pia kunaonesha ya kwamba mungu ameikubali sadaka ya watawa wetu ambao wametoa kwa moyo wote. Badae mama mkuu atawakaribisha na kuwapokea watawa wetu kirasmi katika shirika la mabinti wa mtakatifu paulo. Kwa furaha watawa wetu watapokelewa akiwakumbatia kuonesha kwamba Sister Catherine, Sister Eunice, na Sister Gentrix wanaingia katika shirika kama mabinti wa mtakatifu Paulo daima. Yaani sasa watawa wetu ni mabinti wa mtakatifu Paulo. Father in heaven, our desire to serve you, our desire to serve you is itself your gift, and our perseverance needs your guiding hand. How right it is that we should sing your praise. With boundless love, you created the human family through your word in the Holy Spirit and lifted it up into communion with yourself. You make the human family your bride, radiant with your likeness, adorned with the gifts of everlasting life. When your bride deceived by the evil one, broke faith with you. You did not abandon her. With everlasting love, you renewed with your servant Noah the covenant you had made with Adam. Then you chose Abraham, the man of faith, to be the father of a people more numerous than the stars of heaven. By the hand of Moses, you sealed a covenant with them in the table of the law. Throughout the ages, they arose from these favored people, holy women, renowned for devotion and courage, justice and faith. In fullness of time, you raised up holy virgin from the stock of Jesse. The Holy Spirit was to come upon her, and your power to, was to overshadow her, making her immaculate mother of the world's redeemer. He became poor, humble, and obedient, the source and pattern of all holiness. He formed the church into his bride, loving it with love so great that he gave himself up for it and sanctified it in his blood. Father, in your loving wisdom, you have singled out many of your daughters to be disciples espoused to Christ the Master and to receive the honor of his love and to announce him to every creature. Holy Church shines with rich variety, a bride adorned with jewels, a queen robed in grace, a mother rejoicing in her children. Father, we earnestly pray you, send the fire of the Holy Spirit into the hearts of your daughters to keep alive within them the holy desire he has given them. May the brightness of baptism and the innocence of life shine in them. Strengthened by the holy bond of provision, may they cling to you in fervent love, love and apostolic zeal. May they faithfully guard the union with Christ, their only spouse and master. With a generous love, may they love our mother church and in the charity of Christ embrace all mankind, witnessing to the blessed hope of heavenly goods. Lord, Holy Father, guide the steps of your servants and guard them on their pilgrimage through life. When they come at last to the throne of Christ, the King, may they not fear him as their judge, but hear the voice of their bridegroom, loving inviting them to the wedding feast of heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Dear Sister Gentrix, Sister Eunice, Sister Catherine, now you belong forever to this family of the daughters of St. Paul. And from now on, everything will be in common among us. Therefore, Dear Sister Gendrix, dear Sister Eunice, and dear Sister Catherine, with fidelity, perform the ministry of evangelization with the means of social communication which the church entrusts to you and exercise it in our name. Wakati huu, tunawaomba wazazi wa watawa wetu, waje mbele kwa ajili ya kuwapongeza watawa wetu. Baada ya wazazi, mapadre watafuata na kisha mabinti wa mtakatifu Paulo, watawapongeza. Wengine tulobaki tafadhali, muwe watulivu, na naomba tuwapongeze baada ya misa. Mapadre tafadhali mjonge mbele ili muweze kuwapongeza watawa wetu Watawa wetu naomba muwe tayari ili nanyi pia muweze kuwapongeza watawa wetu. All the daughters of St Paul kindly come forward.
I request the other sisters also to join. Kindly join and congratulate the sisters. Only the sisters, please. Our novices.
Watawa wetu kwa kweli wamejawa na furaha tele tele na wangependa kutuonyesha furaha walionayo. Wakiga mfano wa Bikira Maria mama wa Mungu watamtukuza Mungu aliyewatendea makuu. Wanakwaya watawasaidia kwa kuimba wimbo wa shukurani ambao wameshaimba lakini nawaomba tutarudia tena. Figelegele na shangwe zinakaribishwa Baada ya hapo baada ya wimbo wa shukurani tutaendelea na ibada ya misa ukiwa ni wakati wa sadaka Oh, 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 oh,
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servants, O Lord, and confirm in your love those who profess the evangelical counsels through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the Virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast to that what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake given unto death he willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and a fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave all earthly things and promised they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created really gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to their name, to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Helene Fumbola Imani Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that you are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Bishop, Joseph here present, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Strengthen in their holy resolve, O Lord, these your servants who seek to follow your Christ in faithful devotion, giving a witness of evangelical life and of fraternal love. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, Lord be your name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Kwa furaha tutakiani amani. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. I am crucified with Christ, yet I live no longer I, but Christ lives in me. Alleluia.
Let us pray. O Lord, your people take joy in their communion through this life-giving sacrament and for this solemn rite of religious profession. May each of these reasons for joy encouraging your daughters, Catherine, Eunice, and Gentrix, generous love and service of the church and of humankind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Tuketi tafadhali. And now invite our provincial superior. Ningependa kumkaribisha mama mkuu Sister Rosemary atufahamishe kule watawa wetu wanaenda kufanya kazi ya utume. Before I say where our sisters are going, we are going to give them a missionary mandate, and uh, each one will receive the gospel because that is what they are going to preach. Dear Sister Gentrix, Sister Eunice, Sister Catherine, receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, of which you are a proclaimer. Always believe in what you proclaim, teach what you have learned in faith, live and witness what you teach to others. I know we are eager to know where our sister are going. Uh, <laughs> sister Gentrix uh, is going to Gabriella House because she has to go and continue with her studies. <laughs> sister Eunice Kasioka has been sent to Lusaka, Zambia. And Sister Catherine Wansa has been sent to Tekla Formation House in Kampala. So thank you, sisters. Thank you, Sister Rosemary. Uh, na sasa ningeomba wanakwaya watuongoze kwa wimbo wa shukurani. Karibuni. Oh, 
ni wakati wa matangazo Firstly tunawapongeza sana my sister wetu watatu Catherine Eunice na Gentrix ambao leo hii wamefunga nadhiri za daima Hongereni my sister na Mungu azidi kuonemesha Pili baada ya misa tutakuwa na kipindi cha kupiga picha askofu wetu na watawa wetu ambao ni wageni wa heshima leo wazazi na watawa wa mtakatifu Paulo wanovisi na postulanti na marafiki wote nitaita moja kwa moja tujiunge kwa kupiwa picha Tafadhali wakati huu ninaomba tuzingatie muda na baada ya picha kutakuwa na wakati wa kukata keki. Na sasa namwalika our provincial superior sister Rosemary Mweni Mwaiwa to give us some words of wisdom. Baadaye atamwalika Father Emmanuel Banda SJ ambaye atawakaribisha mapadre wetu hapa waliko hapa leo na baadaye atamwalika askofu kumaliza karibuni sister uh, and now before our provincial superior comes i would like to invite one of the newly professed sisters to give a vote of thanks. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Tumsifu tena. Kwa niaba yangu na niaba ya masista wezangu ningependa upeana vote of thanks. I take this opportunity on behalf of my companions to thank God for the gift of this day which is so important to us. We are thanking the Lord for the gift of our lives and the gift of our Pauline vocation which we have embraced today for eternity. The gift of our vocation is a fruit of the love of God that the Lord has for us. And our response to this love is our perpetual yes, which we have pronounced today in the midst of his church. We thank his Lordship Joseph Mongela, Bishop of Kitui, for accepting our request to celebrate this occasion with us. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. We thank all the priests, deacons, seminarians, religious, and friends. Your coming is much appreciated. We are very grateful to our choir, St. Teresa's Parish Isli, and the you have sung so well. We are very happy and honored. <laughs> We thank the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul for welcoming us into the congregation, for providing us with the ambient we needed to discern our vocation. We thank the many sisters who have been our formators. With their gentleness, they have accompanied us to become what the Lord wants us to be. You deserve the words of the Apostle Paul you deserve the words of the Apostle Paul 
which should be applied to you as an expression of gratitude for all that you have done until now, and as a joyful wish for the future. We remember you always in our prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may grant you wisdom and revelation, and in deep knowledge of him, the eyes of your mind be enlightened, so that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Our special thanks goes to our families for letting us free to respond to the voice of God. For your continuous prayerful support, may God fulfill all the desires of your hearts. Our gratitude extends to our parish priests and parishioners of our various parishes, Isli, Mudale, and Ika. We appreciate that you have traveled from different parts of the country to grace our occasion. Your coming is a sign that you value us and our vocation is important to you and to the church. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, our sisters, the daughters of St. Paul, for organizing the celebration for us. It has really been a beautiful day. Thank you, Asante Nisana. Your Lordship, Right Reverend Joseph Monkela, the Bishop of Katrin Diocese, all the priests, co-celebrants, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters and Brothers, our newly professed sisters, the parents of our sisters, our cooperators, collaborators, and all of us here present. God is good, all and all the time, does nature wow. First, I want to congratulate our sisters for having taken this step to say yes to the Lord, a yes that is forever. And the bishop said that if you don't, there will be a stick. <laughs> Congratulations, our dear sisters. I take this opportunity to welcome and thank um, His Lordship for presiding this Eucharistic celebration. Well, when we invited you, you did not state to say yes, and we are really grateful. Uh, today we have learned that you are Pauline, and maybe your name will change to be Paul. Be it's already changed. We are grateful. Thank you for collaborating us, you know, with us in our mission, and we appreciate the challenge that you have posed to us. To be creative in our mission, to be able to look at the signs of the time and move with the signs of the time. The challenge is taken. Dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered to celebrate a sacred moment, a profound calling, the Pauline religious vocation, a path that intertwines faith, communication, and joy. The final profession of our sisters, Sister Catherine, Sister Eunice, and Sister Gentrix, who have chosen to offer their lives entirely to God. Thank you, everyone, for joining us to celebrate our sisters and to congratulate them today. We have witnessed their offering to God. Today, after years of formation, our sisters have responded to their call with a definitive yes, a profound yes that marks the peak 
of a profound journey. A journey that transcends time and echoes through eternity. Aware that the perpetual profession of our dear sisters is not a one-time decision. It is a daily affirmation, a call that beacons us beyond the ordinary, which begins with a seed planted in the heart, nurtured through prayer, community life, and the response to the mission. And each step that they took in fidelity strengthened their response to God. And therefore, to our dear sisters, persevere always, even when storm ranges, knowing that God's grace will sustain you. St. Paul, our father and patron, exhorts us in his letters to rejoice even in trials, as joy is a deep-rooted gladness derived from union with Christ, and to share this joy with a hope-seeking world. Our vocation as evangelizers leads to enjoy that lies in fostering communion, encountering God, and using the means of social communication to proclaim Christ, to dispel darkness, and build community. Yesterday, 4th of April, on the 140th birthday of our founder, Blessed James Alberione, we witnessed a new birth of a province, a great milestone in our region. And today we have witnessed the first perpetual vows of our three sisters in the new province of East Africa, <laughs> South Sudan, Malawi, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Congratulations, sisters, being the first to inaugurate the new province. May your Pauline vocation bring forth fruits of commitment, love, and sacrifice for the growth of the province. I thank the parents of our sisters who have offered their daughters to the church through the daughters of St. Paul. Thank you, our dear parents, for nurturing their Christian faith and vocation. And today, we, have, we are here Witness, witnessing their total offering to the Lord. I urge you to continue supporting them with your prayers because the journey has begun. I appreciate the presence of each one and everyone who has attended this celebration for coming to witness our sisters making their final commitment to the Lord. I thank in a special way our collaborators in the gospel, the Caption TV. We can see them around. And other media houses, if any present. I also thank the bankers, including Prime Bank and Simbia Bank, ABC Bank, for their generous support towards this celebration today. May God bless them, their generosity, and continue giving generously to all those who need you. Thank you, everyone, for coming to support us. And I wish you all the best especially to our new sisters, blessings in their mission, asking our blessed founder, James Alberione, and St. Paul, our father and patron, to work with each one of them and each one of us in our daily commitment to God. 
Thank you, and God bless us all. Before I call uh, Father Mpanda, I have a letter from our Superior General that she has sent a message to our sisters. Dearest Sister Eunice, Sister Catherine, and Sister Gentrix, with great joy and infinite gratitude to the Lord, I greet you also on behalf of the sisters of the general government. On the day when you pronounce your definitive yes to the Father who has chosen you and today consecrates you to be, through your lives, a communication of his Son, a sign of communion and hope in the means of the wounded humanity of our time. He has chosen you out of love and in perfect gratuitousness, simply because he loves you. And it is his love that makes your response of faithfulness possible, that impels you to give yourself totally to him, even in the awareness of your limitations frailties and sins. The Lord asks only of your love in return, unconditional. And in response to this love, he will give you wisdom, faithfulness, perseverance, new life, following in the footsteps of Jesus. May the wisdom-filled words of our founder, Blessed James Alberione, accompany you on this day. When the soul is truly in love with God, when it has truly made profession, not just recited the formula, it must be to say, Lord, I love you with all my heart, above everything. To love God with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our strength, so that we no longer take a breath, no longer take a step, no longer say a word except for God, for his love. When there are things in us that prevent us from being completely of God, we have to, to be like the, the lungs that exhale the bad air in order to breathe in the good air. The only air for us is Jesus Christ. This is holiness. And this is my wish for you, dear sisters, always to be in love with Jesus, always desire and cultivate your relationship with him. Only in this way can you be communicators of the good news to the ends of the earth. With great affection, I embrace you, welcoming you forever into the family of the daughters of St. Paul. Sister Anna Kayasa, Superior General. I now take this opportunity to welcome Father Mbanda. Welcome, Father. Your Lordship, Right Reverend Joseph Maluki Mongela, and the Provincial Superior of the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul, the members of your congregation here present, Religious superiors for various congregations here present, our new brides of Christ. My brother priests, deacons, religious brothers and sisters, parents, relatives, and friends in Christ. In my language, we say, Kusatenda Huroi. It means ingratitude is equivalent to witchcraft. <laughs> we would like to, first of all, you know, there have been so many uh, forms of gratitude that have been given already. I will not repeat them. But there is one thing that is very crucial to this celebration, which, is, uh, which I'm going to mention. 
would like to thank God who he has given us instead today the showers of blessings and uh, instead he has given us the light of Christ so that our celebration moves smoothly. So makofi kwa mungu. In that same spirit of gratitude, allow me to introduce to you the priests and deacons here at the altar. So first of all, we have uh, Father Kizito Okuku from the Diocese of Pungoma. And then we have Father Francis Kauso from Kitui. And we have Deacon Geoffrey Mbindio. Mbindio, you have to forgive me if I have uh, butchered your name. <laughs> from, he's a spiritan from Water. And then we have Deacon David Mutua, a spiritan from Machakos. We have Father Kenneth Makoka, a capuchin. From they are, you see, their friends are here with the cameras here, you know. So, and we have Father Paul Lesupati, he is from Masabit Diocese, but is currently uh, working in Springfield Diocese in Illinois, so. USA. So we have Father Alexander Kitu Kituki from Machakos Diocese. And we have Father Paul Cambo, a Komboni missionary. Then we have Father Francis Mbuvi uh, from the Franciscans of AFM Machakos. Father Josphat from Kitui Diocese. And then we have Father Muku, Mukua from the Diocese of Nairobi. <laughs> this is nepotism. <laughs> 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 lastly, uh, lastly, you have me, Father Emmanuel Banda, from Zimbabwe, where some of your sisters are working, from the diocese, from the Archdiocese of Harare, I'm a Jesuit, and I was your MC of the day. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Before the final blessings. I want to repeat, immediately after the final blessings, we shall have the photo session, and I will come here to guide us. We will try to do it fast, please, because after the photo taking, we shall have the cutting of the cake. So the cake will be cut before the, his lordship goes to invest together with the celebrants. Welcome, your lordship. Ningependa tukimalizia za kuwashukuru ni nyote kwa kuja kwa wingi the team from uh, Mbungoma tuwapigie makofi <laughs> the team from uh, Iyani Centriza Siyani makofi <laughs> Nimeona mmekuja kama zoni yote na wajua all the way from Kakeani uh, na hizo uh, station zingine na mnajua tuna mpango hivi karibuni I love now the wise people from the Eastlands. Nazizi wenyewe. Kila moja wetu zaza. Yes. Bila kusahau zaza watu wa Runinga, watu wa the social media. They have, uh, we are just few here but they have transmitted these two ends of the earth. Uh, Paul had three missionary journeys. 
and uh, to many parts of the world. And uh, through the work of St. Paul, we are getting to all parts of the world. So Paulines, and then uh, listening to the names, Ile Majina hapa inasambara kwa makazizi ni Father Paul na Father Francis. Sasa na hapa nao hatu wa mitandao ni the Paulines and the Franciscans who are Capuchins. Sasa ninyo Holy Spirit muingia huko ndani kwa kila moja. Wow. Si Holy Spirit ya kwa kila maali. Yes, na zizi wale wa dausa nduko huku tunashikilia. Na furai maza meenda pande zote za dunia. Nimesikia Lusaka, nikasikia kule Kampala. Alafu nasikia mungina ameenda formations ya pa karibu kumalizia masomo. Yote ni mambo ya mungu. Na as in Paul was told to kusikilize siku ingine, tupatane siku ingine kwa TV, kwa, kwa radio, wherever, uh, ama kwa misa. Na watakia baraka nyingi na zikutoka kwa ke mwenyezi mungu. Uh, the Sunday of Divine Mass is coming. Uh, let's also prepare and celebrate who opened our mungu. Let's bow our heads and pray for God's blessings. May God the inspirer of every good resolve foster your purposes and strength, strengthen your hearts that what you have promised you may keep with persevering faith. May he grant you to hasten in the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your sisters. May the charity of God make you of you, a family, brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all who are gathered uh, for these sacred rites and all those who are following us through the different means of social communication, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now it's time for photo taking. Uh, I'm going to call. Once I call, you come together with the bishop. So the first people to come forward is the brides of the day with the bishop. The brides kindly come forward for the photo. The provincial government kindly get ready. You are the next to join the bishop. Oh, 
Karebo Sister Angela. Yes, thank you. Um, the, all the daughters of St. Paul, kindly, let us go behind there. We bring the cake. And choir, you will help us with the song. All the daughters of St. Paul, we are running after time. All the daughters of St. Paul, Sisters, be getting ready.
Thank you, sisters. And so, uh, the newly uh, finally professed just remain there. I will call uh, our bishop, Sasa Watakao Shiriki, na masista wetu katika kukata keki ni askofu wetu, Joseph Mwangela. Sister Mkuu wa provinsi yetu, Sister Rosemary Mwewa, jongea hapa mbele, tafadhali. Masista wetu ambao wamechukua na thiri, already wako hapo. Then mapadre wote, or the priests kindly come forward, and wazazi wetu wa masista. Wazazi wa masista wetu. Tafadhali, jongeeni huku mbele. Wazazi wa masista wetu, mapadre. I request the sisters who have just taken their perpetual vows to tell us how many to count and their wish. I request the sisters to tell us how many will be counting and uh, their wish. We are counting three times because we are three and also representation of the Holy Trinity. And the vows. <laughs> Good. So the sisters will guide us in the cutting of the cake. Wamesema wata Three, Thank you, sisters. Uh, before we sit, uh, I request the parish priest of Sister Catherine to bless the cake to bless the cake together with the food that we are about to partake. The parish priest of Sister Catherine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, our Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of one another. We thank you for the gift of faith. We thank you for the gift of these three sisters. Enlighten their minds and their hearts indicate the path that they should take in their lives and show them what they must do always so that what they do may be pleasing to you. Bless us and the food before us that when we eat and drink, we may get energy to serve you better through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The priests, you can sit. The bishop will remain there because the sisters have to share the cake with him and the provincial superior. So I request uh, the sisters, Mama Mku, Sister Rosemary, atawalisha ma sister wetu keki. Moja wa ma sister hawa wapia atamlisha baba skofu na mwingine atamlisha sister Rosemary. So wale wengine wetu tutapata keki yetu tukienda kupata chakula pale. Mama mkuu anawalisha masista wetu wapya.
wakiendelea na kugawanya keki chakula chetu kiko tayari Sister Mkuu anamlisha Sister Eunice Sister Mkuu pia anamlisha Sister Gentrix na Sirumbi Then Sister Catherine atapata keki kutoka kwa mama mkuu. Asante mama mkuu. Sasa namuliza sister mmoja amlishe baba Askofu. Okay. Askofu amesema anaitwa Mwongela na kwa lugha yetu inamaanisha anawaongeza Wakiendelea na kulishwa na baba askofu chakula kipo tayari Masista wote askofu mapadre seminarians chakula kitakuwa pale juu apa hall Asante baba askofu mmoja amlishe baba askofu na wazazi wakaribie wazazi karibieni kwa haraka tafadhali wazazi Sister Gentrix anamlisha baba askofu wetu Sister Kat, uh, Eunice atamlisha mama mkuu wetu Sister Eunice get ready for the cake of the provincial superior So what is click up? Click up is an all in one Asante Sister Gentris amemulisha baba askofu wetu. Sasa Sister Eunice atamlisha mama mkuu wetu Sister Rosemary Mwaiwa Mweni. Wazazi karibieni. Wazazi karibieni jongeeni huku mbele Wazazi wakikaribia ama wakijongea hapa tutakuwa na our lunch served late lunch of course so the bishop and the priests and the deacons you can already unveil and then our lunch for the Okay, mtatupea nafasi kidogo hapa. Mm. Asante, asante. Asante. Thank you. When you you are done with investing, the lunch will be served in the hall. Together with the seminarians, religious men and women, our hall is up here. The novices, the sisters will direct us on how to do it say you can never be the one god say my sister wanawalisha wazazi wazazi pia mnaenda kule juu
you just pass the other. Then mkikula mjitayarishe kupea na zawadi. Msiende na zawadi, msirudi na zawadi. There are two serving points. Basi tumsifu Yesu Kristo mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya captain kilicho na mwanzo lazima kikawa na mwisho wake basi tunaelekea kumaliza sherehe za leo ambapo tumeona dada watatu wa daughters of St Paul's wamewekwa wakfu na wakaweza kuzichukua nadhiri zao za daima pamoja na hayo tunajua kwamba pia wana daughters of St Paul wameweza kupata ukanda mpya na tuna kiongozi uh, wa ukanda huu ambaye ni sister Rosemary ambaye atatuambia je sherehe imekuwaje amefurahia kuongezewa idadi ya watoto katika shirika lake sister congratulations thank you sister yes okay good afternoon yes. everyone so, and good afternoon no, sister thank you Today, today, how do you feel about today? Oh, the day is very beautiful, very wonderful, very exciting. I'm very happy to see our three sisters make their final commitment to the Lord. It has been a great joy. We had uh, great preparations, but I've been very happy today to see everything come to completion. Seeing that yesterday we just became a province, and I said our sisters are the first one to inaugurate our province. We have been a delegation, but now we have made a milestone, and with this milestone we can see there is growth. And we appreciate God for giving us new members who are going to help us to expand more our mission in the different nations. Does that mean you are the new regional uh, provincial superior or you are still the superior even before? Yes, at the moment I, I am the new provincial superior. Okay. I was there before so the delegate superior, but now I've been put back as the uh, provincial superior. Okay, congratulations from Captain TV and may the good Lord who has chosen you to be the leader give you the graces to go ahead. So what do you tell your daughters? I want to I want to encourage my sisters to know that the Lord is always with them, to know that the congregation is supporting them, and not to be afraid to go ahead and give the gospel, because evangelization is part of us, and we cannot be afraid. There might be challenges on the way, but they need to look uh, forward and be focused on Jesus, the one who has called them. The only number one in their lives. Yes. And do you still need more girls to join? And if you do, you do. What do you tell the people who are watching us from different areas? Of course, we need more because now becoming a province, we need great number of vocations. We need quality vocations. And if anybody who is listening to me is ready to serve the Lord with the means of social communication, with the present and current means of communication, you are most welcome to be a daughter of St. Paul. And I believe that today the Lord is calling you. And if you feel his call, do not hesitate to follow him. He's coming. Follow me. If you don't, who will? What do you tell the people watching us, the fans of Captain TV, about the day and what we do? Oh, congrats. Um, to the fans of Caption TV, I want to say thank you very much for joining us from wherever you have been. We are very grateful to have you um, with us, watching us, celebrating us. We are really happy and great because you are part and parcel of us. And we thank you for supporting us, Caption TV. We are very grateful. God bless you and always for being there for us. Province, may you be blessed and continue to lead your people in the right way. Thank you so much. So, huyo amekuwa kiongozi wa ukanda huu mpya ambao umeteuliwa tu hapo jana, Sister Rosemary, nasi kutoka hapa eh, Runinga ya Captain tunataka kuwapongeza wana uh, daughters of St Paul's katika uinjilishaji kupitia uh, social communication ama Tukiwaomba kwamba waendelee kupanuka na kuendelea zaidi. Tunajua kwamba ni mengi ambayo uh, tunahitaji kujua na kupitia kwa njia hizi uh, za uinjilishaji kupitia social media platform.
tutaendelea kumtumikia Mungu na kuwafikia wengi zaidi kwa niaba ya wale wote ambao wamewezesha uh, sherehe hizi zikakufikia mahali popote ulipo mafundi wa mitambo mie ni sister Esther Wanjiro uh, muturi na kwa wakati huu nataka nikuage nikisema kwa heri kwa leo hadi wakati mwingine Mungu akubariki endelea kutazama runinga ya Captain TV kitambulisho katoliki Here I am, O oh Lord. I come to do your will. Ndipo niliposema tazama nimekuja. Bwana nimekuja. Tazama nimekuja kuyafanya mapenzi yako. On Friday, the 5th day of April, a special day dawns for the Pious Society of the Daughters of St. Paul. The sisters extend a cordial invitation to all Catholic faithfuls to the celebration of the perpetual profession of three of their sisters. My name is Sister Eunice Kasioka Mudui, a daughter of St. Paul. I come from Mudale Parish, Kitui Diocese. I am Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi Barasa from the Daughters of St. Paul. I am from Mundika Parish, Bungoma Diocese. My name is Sister Catherine Wanza. I belong to the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. And I come from St. Teresa's Parish in Isli, Nairobi Archdiocese. What attracted the three sisters to the daughters of St. Paul, popularly known as the Media Nuns, is a story of faith, service and dedication. As daughters of St. Paul, we evangelize through the means of social communication. And that is what attracted me most to join the daughters of St. Paul. I knew the daughters of St. Paul through one sister from my parish. And when I read that leaflet, I was attracted to the apostolate because I wanted to serve God and uh, since I also love the means of social communication I felt this is the good place to be. I have learned the way of prayer of the Daughters of St. Paul, community life and apostolate. The Daughters of St. Paul have given me the environment I needed to discern my vocation. And with this act of final profession, I want to commit myself with all my life to work in the evangelization of the peoples within the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. The celebration will commence at 9.30 a.m. at the Daughters of St. Paul Convent, nestled along Ring Road Westlands in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. I would like to invite all of you to my final profession. I have been with the daughters of St. Paul for 12 years and now I am going to make my final vows on the 5th of April. I would like to thank all those who have supported me in this journey of 12 years in knowing and loving Jesus who is the master, way, truth and life. I would like to thank all my formators, my family and people of goodwill who have supported me in this journey. May God bless all of you abundantly. I joined the Deltas of St. Paul in the year 2012. I am very grateful to God for journeying with me all this way. I am also grateful to my parents and all the people of goodwill who have been part of this journey. I want to thank the Lord for the journey that I have made, for all the graces I have received, 
and for all the people who have helped me in my journey of discernment. It has been a very enriching and fruitful journey. I am making my final profession, trusting in the Lord who has called me, because he is faithful. I want to invite all of you to come and celebrate with us in this our great joy. The Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Maluki Mungela of Kitui Diocese is expected to grace the ceremony as the main celebrant of the Eucharistic celebration and the guest of honor. His Lordship Bishop Joseph Mongela from Kitui Diocese and I also expect my family and uh, the people from Busia County. Yes, and all Bungoma Diocese. I also expect many friends whom I have invited. In honor of the spirit of evangelization through broadcasting shared between Capuchin TV and the Daughters of St. Paul's, Pauline's Publications Africa, we, the Capuchin TV family, will bring you live streams of the event on television, YouTube and Facebook concurrently. The trio, Sister Catherine Wanza, Sister Eunice Kasioka, and Sister Gentrix Nasirumbi will each hold a Thanksgiving Mass on different dates in the month of April. Later, they will host family and friends in celebrating home masses in Ikalakala village in Machakos County, Isaani village in Kitui County, and Nasikina village in Busia County, respectively. <laughs> Capuchin TV celebrates you, Sister Catherine, Sister Eunice, and Sister Gentrix for your bold step. May you live to light up hearts in a special way as you touch lives through evangelization by means of social communication. Vandu Babusia, Vakaribisha Sana, 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 Mwiche Hushereke, Inyangeo, Inyangeo, Avinyanga, Ihongo, Mwiche Hushereke, Alala. Muriyo muno, vari indire. Na nienda kumadho oche inyo onde, andu maa kitui, chari niki. Nika natu tanie, wamwe, wito uwa kutui kasista. Na andu onde manga, yala muimbisi kuma, galisi kipadu kanyo, muke tutane wamwe. Tutu ugienga imu bea, nundu wa wito uu. Na kuboyea, mawito, angia ingi. Na wakaribishe ni nyote kwa shere yetu ya kufunga na adhiri za daima, Ujeni tusherekee pamoja. Tutafurai sana kuwaona. Karibuni. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity.